Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to figure out which SS to buy. Hey! So, um, wow, that's right, folks. The holiday season is upon us. So we have a bunch of SSDs. No more music, I promise. Lined up on the table, and we're going to break down the facts so you can pick the right SSD for your holiday upgrade. So the first three we have are more on the affordable side of the price spectrum. First up is the ADATA Premier Pro SP900. Its maximum sequential read and write speeds are 555 and 535 megabytes per second with random 4K IOPS of 91,000. So not a slouch by any stretch of the imagination, but not exactly, you know, like groundbreaking performance either. It's available in up to 512 gigs and has a three-year warranty. The Crucial MX100 is actually built on the same architecture as Crucial's M500 and M550, but the MX100 has different NAND memory. It does use the same Marvel controller though and has capacities up to 512 gigs with sequential reads of up to 550 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of up to 500 megabytes per second and a three-year warranty. You're gonna start to see that three-year your warranty is a pattern here in the value-oriented products. The Kingston HyperX Fury lineup of SSDs is, well, okay, I guess you're kind of looking at it. There's not a whole lot to say about it. It does use a Sandforce controller, so it's different from the other two in this regard, and that means that it benefits from highly compressible data. So you will get the best performance possible if you're working with files that can be compressed, and it won't reach that Maximum read and write speeds of 500 and 500 megabytes per second if you're working with data that's not highly compressible. It's available in up to 240 gig capacities and again, three year warranty. So that's it for the value stuff. Let's move up to three drives that are generally on the other end of the price spectrum. So first is the Intel 730, which uses their own 20 nanometer NAND flash, as well as their own custom controller. And while the sequential read and write speeds of 550 megabytes per second and 470 megabytes per second don't sound very different from these value ones, it's the performance consistency of the 730 drive that makes it stand out from the crowd, especially if you were to run it in RAID. Next up is the SanDisk Extreme Pro. And honestly, it's hard to say exactly what magic SanDisk is pulling out of their butts to achieve the kind of performance they do with this drive because on the surface, from like a layman's perspective, you kind of look at it and you go, well, the actual hardware specs of this drive aren't really that different, but somehow their Extreme 2 series of drives just freaking rocks and is super fast. So it's available in capacities of 24480 and 960 gigabytes. And uh, I'm sure you can imagine what kind of pricing you'll see at those sizes. Well, you won't have to imagine because there'll be a link in the video description, but the warranty here isn't three years, not even five, which is what Intel has on the 730, but an industry leading 10 years. So they're, uh, they're really standing behind their Extreme Pro here, aren't they? Moving up to the Samsung 850 Pro, also a high performance, high price drive. This is the world's first drive based on 3D NAND flash, where basically they're stacking 32 cell layers on top of each other for higher density and performance without having to manufacture their NAND at the smallest possible process nodes. So there's actually, it's a, it's a trade-off compared to the traditional approach, which is to just spread things out but uh, one that seems to have worked out quite well for them. It's a top performing drive and Samsung is so certain about its reliability that they are offering a 10 year warranty on this bad boy as well. It's available in 128, 256, 512 and one terabyte sizes. And then finally, we have the beast. This, my friends, is the G-Skill Phoenix Blade. It's a 480 gig PCI Express SSD, but what puts this on its own performance level is the fact that the Phoenix Blade is basically like having four 120 gig drives running in RAID 0 in your system. Maximum read and write speeds go up to 2,000 megabytes per second. That's two gigabytes per second. Now, oh, wait a second. You need to pick your job up the floor. The warranty might be only three years, but uh, I mean, two, two gigabytes per second reads and writes. Uses a PCI Express 8X interface. Oh, I dropped it. Wow, that's terrible. All right, so that's it. A quick little update with what's up in the SSD market just in time for holiday shopping. Let us know down below which one you would like to see Santa or whatever, you know, holiday reptile or whatever it is that you believe is going to come and leave stuff in your stocking. 
or in your bowl of porridge or like, I don't know, lots of people believe a lot of different things. So let me know which one you're down for. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.